Speaking of featured appearances, man, J. Cole's been killing his featured appearances, and he just recently put out a record with Gucci. Um, Mike Will produced it. It's going to be on Gucci's new album. What's the name of the song again? No, I'm pulling it up right now. I, I like the record. To, listen to it. This song is kind of like There a, I Go. There I Go. J. Cole got on there. It was J. Cole. Gucci got on there and did his thing, too. This is a collaboration that I don't think any of us seen. It's really dope record. Coming. Yeah, and the fact that Mike Will produced it, I feel like neither one of those guys leaned on, I guess, their comfort zone. They both went out there and did something, I guess, different. And it worked out. I think it's a hit. We're going to see what it does. I don't, even, I don't know what a hit is anymore, but I know that that shit is dope. Yeah. A hit in 2023 is gonna as fuck you mean. <clears throat> this could give it some run. Yeah. Yeah, it's like that. Cole is... Cole is absurd, man. <laughs> he is, man. Zuri said something that I did want to address. He says, Zuri with the Super Chat says, where would y'all put Got My Mind Made Up? Mm. I don't know. See, how about this? I would play that record before a lot of other records that I would objectively put ahead of it. Like, I would put, I'd play My Mind Made Up before I would play John Blaze or Band from TV. You know what I'm saying? I mean, bar for bar, though, Mom Made Up is heavy. There's not really a weak point in there, no. except for, like, you know, maybe you could say Daz at the beginning, but Daz produced the track. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it could have started off a little stronger. But, yeah, once Pac came in and then Corrupt did what he did, we might Method Man did what he did, think we, might Red, need, we might need to make a posse cut list. We're not going to, like, talk about it. We're just going to put yeah, it out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll just put it out there. Leroy Green with the Super Chat says, what up, A2HH? I'm here. What are we talking about? We're talking about the fact that Jay-Z doesn't have a better album performance than DMX's heart, Dark and Hell is Hot, Leroy. But I do think Boom. that I think that Jay's performance on the Black album could rival that of Dark and Hell is Hot, but Dark and Hell is Hot is just so... Jay is so super, super yeah. versatile on the Black album. And Very so, so stylistically, I get what you're saying. But it likes that feeling and that depth that this Dark and Hell is Hot has. It's he like, does have a lure on there, though. He does, but it's like, you know, like the way that you feel on that record, it's like, well, it's Dark and Hell is Hot has a lot of those feels, mm -hmm. you know? And it's like, X is the type of character you're like, like, nah, like something really wrong with fam. Yo, for the people out there who didn't live this, when X dropped that shit, he became niggas' favorite rapper overnight. Like, it's for real. happened fast. Yeah. Throughout our high school, it's like, yo, who's the best rapper? DMX. I tried to tell everybody at my <laughs> high school. Everybody kept saying cannabis. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm like, nah, that dude, DMX. Man. DMX was different, man. I, and, you know, cannabis had the lyricism, had the freestyles, and had the, uh, you know, the feature appearances. But no, he was I loved, killing everything. I, I, I love cannabis. But when it's dark and hell is hot drop, we understood that he doesn't have a stop being greedy. He doesn't have a Rough Riders anthem. He doesn't have a um, how's it going down. Get at me, dog. Yeah. I mean, it. the songs speak for themselves. Um, Jay Short with Super Chat says, I have to mention two slept on classic West Coast posse cuts. I got five on it remix. Great remix. I love that I remix. think we talked about that. We have talked about when that. When I put five on it as a top 50 hip hop song, you said the remix, remix is, is better. Because it is. I don't know if I would go that far, but the remix is great. Remix is crazy. It's great. I nah, love the remix. I love that remix. That's you know what, Jay remix. Short? That's one of the best remixes ever. It is. It's a top 10 one to me, off top. Yeah, I think. it's top 10 remix to me, too. Yeah. Um, He said, how's it going? I'm sorry, it's going down remix. Oh, yeah, I like that one, too. It's going down uh, remix? With 40. Yeah. Um, it's going? Yeah. Nah, I don't know if that makes it a cut, though. Uh, Forte, Mac-10, Selly Cell, and Be Legit. Shout out to them, man. Um, Stefan with a super chat says... Is Hit Boy's remix a posse cut? I'm sorry, Hot Boy remix. Hit Boy. Hot Boy oh, well, remix. Missy? The Missy joint? Is that what he's talking about? I don't. I guess it could be. That ain't ranking. I don't know. That's not ranking. I don't feel like it is, though. No, that's not talking about the one with Q Tip and uh, Nas and E. He, that's not going to register. I don't think all three of them are on the same one, though. Uh, uh, no. I didn't like anybody's performance on there other than Eve's, to be perfectly honest. And you know, I'm a big Nas and Q Tip fan. I wasn't. Big. I didn't. I didn't love their verses. Escobar, CBR, bike. Yeah, I wasn't huge on that. He's done much better. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, back to J Cole as a feature. He's killing everything that he gets on. I think he's the best featured MC in the game. Um, 
I don't know what that really means in 2023 anymore. Right. Uh, without the project to boot. Right. I don't think the uh, off season lived up to everybody's expectations. Am I wrong about that? Based on, you know, what we've think, been hearing from him? I think he's, you know, he's dropping good music. It's not staying. I think what it is, and I want to be like careful what, here because like what I want to praise uh, J. Cole for what he's doing. I think the dominance that he is uh, he's displaying on his features aren't translating to his albums. And like you said, he's making good music. But I think based on these dominating features and appearances, we're expecting dominating music as well. I mean, that. he's kind of like... See, because even to say that it translate isn't like I don't think all the way accurate. Like he has did make a what Pride is the Devil. Um, mm -hmm. What's the other one? Let go of my hand. Yep. Yeah, Love Pride, that record. yeah. Let go of my hand. Pride is the Devil. So there's some shit on the off season, but is it like this? Is what I mean is that all time great reverence in those songs that you hear? Because I think that's what I hear when we hear him on this on these uh, features. We're hearing like all time great artists. Yeah. Right. Johnny P's caddy. Yeah. Those but, levels. Right. And it's like, well, that level isn't translating to the songs from him that I think that are iconic enough to put him in that stratosphere. And so I think that's really the only thing left for him to do. As far as these features go, he's killing this shit. And he's showing that he can get on any type of record. I mean, if we talk about even, let's just take Gucci off of this new record. That's a single for J. Cole, right? Take um uh, take Benny off of Johnny P's caddy. That's a street record for Cole. You know what I'm saying? Like adding another verse of his there. And it's like, I think those are the standards that we're beginning to set on that level. And it's like, as great as this feature run is, and I do think he's the best featured MC in the game, I would love to hear it translate, you know, through a full effort. Where and I know you? he can do it. I believe he can do it. Me too. I, I agree. I believe he can do it. Where I believe he has his best effort in him. Yes, I, I, I agree. I totally agree. Still, um, very. I think he could have like a moment of truth moment where it's yeah. like, oh, no, it's like this is album number what? And you make your best shit by far. I agree. No, I think he has that in him. Um, where would you put him? Where, where would you place him like right now? Just like he's the best feature artist in the game. But where is he like in the game as a whole? Well, you got to have the effort, right? Right. And we're talking about in the game. Currently as a whole, not all time, right? Yeah, just currently. Like last, since we've been doing the show. Since we've been doing the show, like, okay, so since 2020. I mean, I think Nas has been the best MC in the game. Um, I don't think I'm going to get any argument in that. Um, Kendrick's kind of been absent. I think off season's better than Mr. Morale, and then you add in the features. I think him and Drake is an interesting conversation. He's definitely top five-ish, but I would give him more of a number three spot because of, you know, the featured work, because of uh, the stuff that's going on with his crew, things he's been able to jump on on that level. What do you say? I would put him at three, two. I would put Nas at one. And I'm going to tell you why I would put him at three and not two. He hasn't made anything better than cheat codes. And Thought's been doing work and Thought made cheat codes. Yeah. And he made the joint earlier this year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Thought got guest appearance versus, like. I don't think anybody would be insulted by Thought being over Cole. So if I, if I was picking the last, just since we've been doing the show, I would go Nas, Thought. Cole, Drake. Conway, Drake, probably that five. Okay, would you put Cole over Conway? Because now I'm thinking from a king to a god, that's 2020. Um, I don't know if I could – I don't know. That's, that's a close conversational. One. Yeah, that's yeah. close. Because I feel like well, but when Cole Conway's just, done more work. He's done more work, but when Cole just, like, snaps like this, it's yeah. just like, ugh. Yeah. Leroy Green with the $20 Super Chat showing love. He says, Mike, DMX was like Nelly or 50 or Puffy or MC Hammer. You're seeing a moment of pop culture shock 
Uh, but but is- as far as intricacy, Jay Z is a better MC, and albums like Reasonable Doubt Volume One, the Blueprint Black Album, American Gangster, show a higher level of bar work. Yeah, whatever. Well, of all those albums, definitely the Black Album is a solo mission, and so is uh, American Gangster. Um, well, here's what you know. I really thought about something like this game isn't in a bad place. It's like you know we didn't bring up Benny, we didn't bring up Gibbs. Gibbs is heavy. Kendrick is still out here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Gibbs Would is heavy. Would you put Cole over Gibbs over the past, since we've been doing this show? See, we got to talk about how we really want to measure it. How, like, yeah. how, how much are we measuring the quality of the albums versus like the quality of the verses that we're hearing? You know me, man. Because <clears throat> he's got the album work, too. It's not like he hadn't done an album. Yeah, exactly. Done work. So if we're talking he's about got the album dream, work, he, he's got the off season and he's got the Dreamville mixtape, but he's got all these guest appearances too. It's just that what we're hearing on the Dreamville and hearing on the guest appearances is better than what we heard on the off season. It's kind of some Andre three thousandism going on. No, right? no, no. He has a solo album. He and does, he, but and he contributed to a mixtape, and he is like on solo album number <laughs> seven or eight. So we don't I understand have that. what you're saying. We but don't what, have that going. What I'm on. saying is, when you look at Conway and Freddie Gibbs is. Uh, output when it comes to full albums cole doesn't have that kind of output but he really shines on his features that's where the andre 3000 ism comes in at and okay. i don't know if i can I, I don't know if i could put features over let's just say soul soul separately and alfredo and alfredo i can't do that that's i would fair. have to put so let's, so, so, so let's re- we rework it then let's let let's say we put okay so are you cool with Nas and Thought at one and two? I am. So Gibbs. the only argument would be either Gibbs or Conway for Thought, but Thought's been taking it to the next level. He has been. Yeah. And as much as I love uh, Conway and like Gibbs, it's like I don't know if they can do an Aquamarine or a Gold Tea. You're right. Aquamarine is actually probably, if I had to really judge it, it might be the best song to come out since we've done this show. You could argue that. I no, need to think about think this further. A, I th- but if you thing. ask me, like, what's the best song that's to come valid. out in hip hop right. since we've been doing this show, that might be the first one. Right, because my, my favorite Gibbs song since we've been doing this show would probably be Scotty Bean mm-hmm. or Baby Shit, and I don't think either one of those are better than Aquamarine. My favorite Conway song would probably be Jesus Crisis or <laughs> Lemon. It's just crazy. Or Juvenile Hell, and I'm not sure if any of those are better than Aquamarine either. I think, and then he has no gold teeth. Do you think the bar work on um, From a King to a God is the best bar work that we've gotten since 2020 on an album? Um, Magic Cheat Codes and From a King to a God are what stand out mm-hmm. lyrically. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. But I don't, I wouldn't put it ahead of Magic just immediately. And, and Thoughts bar work on fucking Cheat Codes is pretty crazy. It too. is. So I wouldn't just like, put from a king to a god like there just yet because magic and cheat codes has come out mo better Cole with the super chat says uh, what makes cole and kendrick different is uh cole is great with his feature verses but kendrick outshines him when it comes to albums you know that's fair so hold on so let's get back to this are we taking conway or are we taking gibbs because here's the thing conway's done more work i'm than taking gibbs. conway slightly but it's not by a lot because here's the thing is it's like what's conway because how about this it's like let's say alfredo and from a king to a guy wash each other out where's conway so sold, sold separately it's fair so it's like we can't be totally unfair to Gibbs. i think conway's just done more stellar bar work mm-hmm. and so i would give him the slight edge as well so you're cool if it's like nas thought conway Gibbs, then Cole maybe, then but then Cole. you got Drake. I was about to say, then I think the conversation become, becomes Cole and Drake because here's mm-hmm. the thing: they've both put out a project since we've been doing this podcast, and they've both done kind of like a joint project, like mm-hmm. Cole with the Dreamville and uh, and Drake with the Twenty One. I gotta be fair, man. It might be Drake over Cole well, on the off- that, but I like Cole the, the off season bar for bar well, more. See, of course, know? bar for bar, he's better. Um, and I think the off season is better than Certified Lover Boy, and I think the Dreamville mixtape is better than the Twenty One Drake album. So I would tell you Cole, okay, and then go Drake. 
Okay. I want to see what the people think about that. Critical Mass with the Super Chat says. We might says, need to do our top 10 MCs list like currently, like current. right now. Like we might need yeah, to do a top 10. Yeah, for this decade. Yeah. Like who are the top 10 like right now, like for this decade? And people can't even look at us crazy for saying that Nas is the best rapper of this decade. He got five albums and they're pretty good too. Um, Critical Mass with the Super Chat says, because uh, he's rapping over other peeps' beats on features. Oh, this is the Beats conversation with J. Cole again. So y'all think that J. Cole shines on features because it's not his beats. I'm not going to argue with that, Mike. I've, sa- I've said one thing repeatedly about his projects. I was like, I want somebody else to give him beats. Or to be in charge of the beats because that's what happens when you collab like, like, too. Look, look what he just did on that Mike Will Made It track. It's like, no, yeah. I'm cool if you want to slide on a Metro track or if you want to slide on a Travis Scott track. Yeah. Or if you want to holler at Hit Boy. Because even if you look at Or Benny. Alchemist. Or I was going to say, even if you look at Benny on Johnny P's Caddy, that was Alchemist, right? Mm-hmm. Benny picked that beat for him. So it's like, maybe this whole narrative about J. Cole being a bad beat picker might not be crazy because we're seeing what he does on features. And those beats, his, he's not picking those. His, his problem might be picking his own damn beats. It could be. So he should stop doing that. I don't like that. to put that on an artist. So but... he should stop doing that. Hmm. He doesn't have a he doesn't have a Q-tip problem where it's like what am I gonna do with all these classic beats? It's like no, he ain't got that problem. <laughs> it just sounds like such a cop out to put that on an artist, you know what I mean? But this it's not there a might cop be something out. to it. It's not a cop out to ask an artist who raps as exceptionally well as he does to ask him to like l- lay back on else. the <laughs> lay yeah. back on the board work. <laughs> like I don't know, even think it's a thing because the last album off season he had other producers, right? As far, look, I don't even think it's about him making the beats, like you said. I think it's more about what he picked. It's, I mean, but as far as, like, here's what I mean about, like, just kind of sitting the boards down some. It's like, well, as time is going on, it's like, well, you're turning out to be the best lyricist of this generation. So Kendrick has better production than him. And therefore made better albums. You yeah. know? Uh, Jay Short with the Super Chat says, is J. Cole the Busta Rhymes of the new era? Great featured artist, but can't find the formula to make his own classic. Uh, jack of all trades, master of none. Yeah, nah, he's better than that. Uh, Zuri with the super chat says, "Is E40's dusted and disgusted a top uh, West Coast posse cut?" <laughs> dusted and disgusted's up there. Yeah. Dot with the super chat says, "Re-listen to KD3 this week, and there's no denying it's the best album to come out in the last decade. By far, the most complete album." Now, I will say that about KD3. I think it's the most complete album that we've gotten since 2020. Um, yes. It's hard to say that any album is better. What would you say about Alfredo matching up with KD3? It's not as good as long. That would be the problem. Like Alfredo? Yeah. Okay. You know I love Alfredo. Yeah. I would actually like Alfredo would probably take the early records. You know what I mean? Like 1985, uh, God is Perfect, Scotty Bean. Yeah. Those are all high, high level records. You know, he's got Baby Shit, All Glass, Skinny Shook. Like, he's got some stuff on there. But it's not the tour de force performance that, like, KD3 is. And I think probably, like, KD3 wins the marathon. KD3 wins the marathon over most of these albums. Same thing with From a King to a God. It's like From a King to a God maybe starts off stronger, but it doesn't consistently carry yeah. the way KD3 does. So KD3 is the best album since 2020 in hip-hop. Pray for Paris. I was going to ask you about Pray for Paris. And I know for a lot of people it's tough for them to compare Pray for Paris to a KD3 because they're looking at West Side's rhyming versus Nas's rhyming. If we're talking about albums, Pray for Paris is special. I would say it's between Pray for Paris. Pray for Paris and KD3 are the most complete rap albums that I've heard since we've started doing this show. I mean, Pray for Paris sounds like a classic. It's one of those albums that sounds like we've always had it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it feels like yeah. it's been here for 10 years yeah. or so. Like, if, I, if I was ranking it like right now, I'd probably say KD3 slightly, and it would be about the lyricism and the versatility of the production. Not even like the overall production, just the versatility of the production. Mm-hmm. And then Pray for Paris. And then after that, I think you have a conversation of Alfredo, uh, from a king to a god, magic KD two. Um, what else has come out? 
it's been like high high level cheat codes i guess would mm-hmm. be would be in that uh would be in that uh top 10 what do you think about so so separately there's a possibility but it would probably fall like on the back end it's a dope album it's a dope album melvin wright with the super chat says uh you two over eight gibbs he he's not better than benny he has better output than benny now i personally like benny better as an mc but i can't sit here and tell you album for album he beats out gibbs I mean, he sorry. doesn't it's like no i mean like and real, i love benny real talk i yeah. love benny too it's like what's his best album tana talk three it's like do you think that that's better than alfredo Mm-mm, it's not do you and think i love it, tana talk three. do you think it's better than soul soul separately no do you think it's better than bandana that's a conversation or pinata this you is see the what thing. i'm saying freddie got four albums and it's like oh i don't know this is what happens when it comes to benny benny's a lot like method man was when we were growing up when he gives you those flashes like the rubber bands and weight oh you like yo man this nigga is that guy like you know what i'm saying like if we got 12 songs on an album rubber bands and weight level we wouldn't even be having this conversation i mean for me it's like 97 hope Rick and the Gods Don't Bleed verse Mm -hmm. was when I was like, okay, I'm like, no, this guy different. And I expected him, I think our expectations were for Benny to be more special than what the music has reflected. So there is some Method Man going on with it a little bit. But also too, like, it's not like he's making bad albums. No, no, we just had a high level of expectation. Right, it's like, how about this, it's like, well, our expectation for him is kind of like Jada Kiss and Method Man. Where mm-hmm. We expect you to make a classic album. Prodigy too. It's like it's yeah. We expect the classic it's album through the roof. Yeah, it's like we expect yeah. the classic album, and we're gonna talk about you until we get the classic album. Pretty much. I'm looking forward to what him and Hit Boy are cooking up because yeah. some of the snippets I heard were really really dope, and I know Benny can do it. Again, I think I he mean, has his best effort in him too, and that's exciting to know because I feel like. I hate to say it for the Kendrick fans out there, I think that we got the best material from Kendrick. It's what it is, you know what I mean? And everything else from here on out, you know, it's probably going to be pretty good to whatever. But I think with Benny and Cole, we haven't gotten their best material yet. And that's exciting. It is exciting. Um, Leroy Green with the Super Chat says, Coop, we love X, but you know the streets saw him like uh, they see a wrestler. And that's as, a, as entertaining more than anything else. With Jay, they saw a familiar <laughs> aesthetic. Not too many of us bark when we talk. I don't think that. No, I, I think not that's many, disrespectful. And not too many people are walking around talking about, I was wearing all this platinum when all y'all chicks thought it was silver and shit. Popping that crystal when y'all thought it was beer and shit. You think that's normal people talk, Leroy? Thumbs Leroy, up in the chat. Leroy's talk? here. <laughs> yeah, Leroy on that bullshit. Leroy's on that bullshit on a Wednesday. <laughs> Ain't no manicures on board and switch your planes. Oh, that's relatable to you, really? Listen, Leroy? I think DMX well, hit I people know, on a whole different I wanna level, know when Leroy, It was bigger than the bar. I want to know when Leroy has gotten a manicure on a plane talking about relatability. Because here's the thing he doesn't realize about DMX. DMX is way more relatable than Jay could ever pray to be. Of course. Like, he literally says it on a get at me dog. He's like, you know what I mean? I'm just robbing to the eat. There's at least a thousand of us like me mobbing the streets. When we, we starve, starve and we eat, eat whatever's, whatever's there. there. You know the code in the streets, whatever's fair. Yeah. No, no, no. There are people living by that law more than they're living by the shit that Jay's kicking. I'm sorry. I mean, even the how's it going down story is relatable for people. That's what I mean. You know He's what I'm way saying? Way more relatable. Politicking with this chicken one day if I'm a creeper. Little hood rat chick from 25th named Tamika coming through like I do. Look, even even fucking Damien's relatable, Mike. Yeah. Where's my guardian angel? I need one. Wish I had one. I'm right here, shorty. And I'm going to hold you down. You want to fuck all these bitches? I'm going to show you how. Ain't be like you. But my, my friends, friends call, call me, me Damien. Damien. LP with the Super Chat says, Freddie got Alfredo, so so separately. One-way flight, 500 ounces. Uh, life is like a dice game. Empathy. Snort with uh, Boldy. Ah. Uh. Seen everything oh, but Jesus. Yeah. Fake flowers. No way thought is over Gibbs for the 2020s. Hmm. Okay. You might have some smoke, but I feel like thoughts done. Like how many, how many of the EPs have dropped? Since 2020? Yeah. I think those EPs was before that. Is it before? All of them before? So he just has the two projects? I think so. Yeah. But his bar work's been stellar. You know what I'm saying? Like, some flawless victory so stuff he's going on. Kinda, he's been out rapping everybody. 
Yeah, technically. Everybody. Technically. Yeah. Um, Jay Short with the super chat says, uh, that's not true. X is X was seen as a wrestler. In fact, I remember in 1998 when people said Jay was just Diddy with better lyrics. Volume two was too slick for some. I think, you know, I, this is what I thought about volume two back then. And this is before I became a Jay fan. I felt like volume two was like a compilation because every song on the album, for the most part, had a feature on it. Okay, so let's go to the mic performance by Jay. What's the best verse? Best verse on uh, volume two? Yeah, I think it's nigga what, nigga who? I knew you were going to say that. I think it's all right. On the jewels, I blew more money than Latrell. That's not good enough for <laughs> you. Jay. jail like Flubber. I hover above the city in the private jet. Live is set. Pressure breaks. Feds want to investigate. Mr. I don't cop nothing. nothing. Less than eight. And anything involved with my name, regardless of the fame, is hard. I can't even walk through Harlem again. Charge, Charge it to, to the, the game. game. I'm platinum, platinum like American, American Express. Express. My boy died, and all I did was inherit the stress to make every jam tougher. You ain't my uh, man, fuck you. I suggest let you live, right? Negative. Sweats. Throw it die. Hope your soul provides you with an afterlife. Close your cast it tight. Take your last two deep breaths and pass the mic to Jay-Z, nigga. Yeah, I think that's his best verse on the album. No. You don't think so? No. I'd we spitting take, bars today. Yo. I take the nigga what nigga who verse. Well, you're talking about the got a condom with mm-hmm. no condoms Cond- in it. But the same, same place, place with the rhymes of in it. it. So all I do is rap and sex. Imagine how I stroke. See, I was flowing like my last cassette. Grab the fire like I'm blasting the tech. Never jam though, never get high, never run out of ammo. Niggas hating the shit cause it changed your bitch, you know your favorite. I know it made you sick and now you acting raw like you never had one. Well, now I'll carry a hoe, wanna marry a hoe. Now she's, she's mad, mad at me cause your majesty just, just happens to be a pimp. What a tragedy. She want us to end cause I fucked the friend. She gave me one more chance, I fucked, fucked her again. again. Yeah, that's the I verse. I seen the 10s that she busted in. I said, shit, it's a draft. Shut the door, bitch. And come. Yeah, that's the best verse on the album. <laughs> Kindle Law Outlaw with it's the him, super chat. Cause that's really, that is him. that's him. That's him talking to you. I think both you. of those verses. It's are. conversational. Yeah, he's conversational. Con- when, it, when he's conversational, it's like he's at his epic. best. He's at his best. No, hold on. You want to know what? I like a week ago. Oh, I'm about song. to say it might be the week ago verse. Though. That's conversational though. Conversational. Jay I is just Jay at his best with no speech in the phone. Mm. From then I could sit. Bleaching your dome. Yeah, that verse is crazy. That, that might be the song. verse. That's, that's my favorite verse. song on the album. No, that's the best song on the album. That's probably, no, that's the best verse, Mike. The week ago verse. The first verse from a week ago. Mm. Me and my dog, me. Yeah, we spoke much more than cordially. Yeah. Yeah. yeah favorite for him. All right, Kendall Outlaw with the Super Chat oh, says. Couldn't jump over the hedges, and that's when our relationship strength. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, Mike. That's the verse. Yeah. <laughs> Kendall Outlaw says. Nas the best featured artist ever. The only other artist to come close is Jay. Hmm. You've made that argument on this show, too. I still kind of give it to Jay, but I could be wrong. Uncle Fran with the $20 Super Chat. Define a feature is like doing stuff like for a Clue mixtape, like a feature. Like, what do you mean by feature? Well, a feature is like, you know, if you're on somebody else's effort, I think. Yeah, it's Nas. I think that Jay is more versatile with his features. Um, I don't think there's a... Amaya Best of Me remix in Nas's arsenal. Thank God I found you, Mariah Carey. I don't think it's at the level of, you know, Carolina Blue Kicks, How to Think on the Block. Sincerity. Used to bicycle since I was six. Love is All We Need. Nah. The songs are up there. I mean, that's what I'm saying. No, the songs are great, but I think that the oh, features. Oh, you mean the verse? The features, yeah. Feature verses, yeah. But his best feature verses are the, the street shit. It's the street shit. Yeah. yeah. Uncle Fran with the $20 Super Chat Show Love says, guys, the reason why Cole doesn't have the same output as those guys you mentioned, is because his art has a higher value. He's still going platinum and selling uh, every arena. He doesn't treat his albums as mixtapes. Well, even if that's the case, that's the business. That's something that we're talking about on the back burner. Are we supposed to disregard other people's efforts and their work because of what this nigga situation is? You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, that's great. You still don't have the albums. (laughs) <laughs> I'm tired of talking about this. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I'm tired of explaining this shit. Well, we got to keep on explaining the same thing. You know what I call that, Uncle Fram, and respectfully, that's called making excuses. <laughs> that's what that's called. The L Web with the Super Chat says Gibbs is uh, more versatile than Benny. Benny always used the same flow. I think Gibbs is more versatile than people give him credit for, and I think that's because he has like a, a deeper tone, right? But his flow is always switching up. And he showed us on Soul Soul separately that 
He could do pretty much anything. It's wildly versatile on Soul Soul Separately. He is. He's really like, he, you know, the beautiful thing about Soul Soul Separately is that you see that he's really rounded himself into a full, full, bona fide, like, rap star and rap artist. Soul Soul Separately would be album of the year in this year right now. Handily. I mean, I think Magic 2 would give it some comp, but I think that, uh, and Michael as well, but I think it would edge those 